Hello there, I'm Ben. And I'm Michelle. Welcome to Freebirds. This episode is all about looking for the adventure in the everyday. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. My business partners and I uh, do this thing called First Friday. And what the idea is, is uh, just to keep adventure alive in, uh, in our lives and in the culture of our company. We take the first Friday of every month off. We intentionally plan some sort of adventure. And uh, we just go do it. We go launch out on an adventure. With a population of just over 6,000, Prosser's a small little town. I've worked there for over 10 years, and so I was pretty familiar with everything in town. So we rode around town for a while. It was starting to look like the possibility of finding something new, interesting, or adventuresome was pretty bleak. I was getting pretty discouraged and was about to give up when we found this interesting looking place. What immediately caught my eye was the historical looking door corner protectors and the old brick and timber construction and the shiny and interesting looking equipment inside. I yelled hello into the open door and soon enough we were met by Brian Morton who is the master distiller at Blue Flame Spirits. Brian welcomed us in and told us all about his historical building and Blue Flame Spirits. Brian was very generous and, and really just uh, took us in and told us all about his operation, uh, telling us about uh, the Blue Flame Distillery itself, how the distilling process works, uh, showing us around, showing us all the equipment. So this is industrial equipment, but man, it's just, it's, it's sure a work of art. The building is a World War II era armory. It's got this really just authentic, unique, and historical vibe to it. It's, it's a vibe that you can't match with new construction. You've really got to see the building to appreciate it. So uh, Brian and the building, they're currently not open to the general public. He is, however, building out a martini bar in the front. Uh, construction's well underway. He doesn't have an opening date yet, but it looks as though he'll be uh, positioning to open a little bit later this year. Michelle and I absolutely loved our tour of Blue Flame. It was all just really fascinating. And then Brian referred us over to another one of his friends just down the road who's got an equally amazing business. We walked into Horse Heaven Hill Saloon and we were struck by how beautiful the place was and how friendly the team was. We were invited down to the game room where we found one of our favorite games, Shuffleboard. We took a short walk out back and had a tour of Horse Heaven Hills Brewery. We also had the opportunity to meet the co-founder, Carol Veeger. Now it was time to see the real gym, the parlor at Horse Heaven. We met the co-owner and founder, Gary Veeger, and he took us up the 27 steps to the parlor. It's stunningly beautiful. And you know, throughout the whole property between, between all three businesses, 
Horse Heaven Saloon, Horse Heaven Brewery, and then the parlor at Horse Heaven, you can just see the, the love and the passion that went into remodeling and building this place. But the pinnacle of all that is the parlor. Oh, it's just so stunningly beautiful. Michelle, what impressed you the most about the parlor? I think it was that you felt like you were stepping back in time to authentic old western uh, parlor with game tables and um, you know what you would see almost in an old western movie but the real thing huh but the real thing <laughs> yeah well we had a great time but sadly it was time to head home we were on bikes and it was getting dark People travel, they go on missions trips, they plan epic adventures. Those are all great, but adventure and wonderful people to meet are everywhere. You just have to step out your door and go find them, and go find adventure. You know, what I think is kind of interesting is children intuitively know this, but we as adults tend to forget and need to be reminded of it every now and then. Sha, what was your lesson learned from the day? Lesson learned, take time to step outside your door, to explore your community, to uh, visit places that you've never visited, to look for the surprises just around the corner. I, I met so many friendly and welcoming people and I can't wait to visit them again. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yep, I feel the same way. Our, our quest for adventure resulted in meeting some amazing people and seeing the, just the works of art, beautiful businesses that they built. Yes. And so it was just a wonderful day. I want to tell a big thank you to Brian Morton at Blue Flame Spirits. And I'd like to say a big thank you to Gary and Carol Veeger of Horse Heaven Saloon and Brewery.